To quote a Bulgarian proverb, if you call one wolf, you invite the pack. And you know what? Varsity football is taking up a seat in your living rooms. You are busting in just the way we like it. We are chess of football. We are smack bang at the heart of uh, Hatfield. Hello and welcome from Duck Sporting Grounds. Well, there's a much anticipated encounter. It's a Derby de Bras. 13 kilometers separate these two cross sign city rivals. It's the defending champions, UP Tax, and the 2017 runners up, TUT. Tackles are flying in. It's definitely a derby. If you didn't know it, now you know. Ball to no one in particular. It's an interesting one for you. As we were sitting in a build up to the game, we were waiting for well, TUT, who took their time. As they are fondly known in these circles, we were here, I think, an hour, 15 minutes just before kickoff, which is unusual. Teams normally come one well in advance before that. And uh, I was wondering if that's going to impact them in terms of their warm up. I was watching them, and they were still going through their paces quite vigorously. There's an opportunity, presents itself. It is TUT who definitely don't take their time. Wow, it's that sh sh sugar we have left off. It's the man from Tony University of Technology via jersey number 13, lucky number 13, Lewahang Patani, Mr. Lakin Khati. You snooze, you lose. Mobile Temba Mabaso, one of those strikers that doesn't just sit in the box, he goes get the ball. He always looking to get those passes. The crosses is always in the box. Lucky, you know what? I think uh, what would be worrying for Bushi Muloi as the shot comes in, the stangle pass up the small box. That right hand side of uh, TUT is uh, well seen flames. We know it's called here, Chesa, but my word, get the fire extinguishers out because Rodisang Rapeleng is not getting too much support, it seems, from his uh, winger. Now driving at the, the TUT defense were UP Ducks. I think uh, he's run out of space here. Eh? Second touch after that initial beautiful approach play from. Uh, and from Orlando East to Sabelo Tambo. Had a cross from uh, this right hand side that he's operating from. Lovely touch and a turn. Shot! That's what I call an Iachesa moment. That's exactly what he was speaking about. He took the ball down, brought it under spell, and without even thinking, was almost second nature uh, to uh, Tabi Solebito. He let rip. The good thing about the two coaches, Temba, what I love, they know, they respect each other. When it comes to a game like this, that's why it's so contested. They just don't go there blindly. They plan, they form. You can even see the set pieces that TUT are defending. Now an opportunity for the Red Army. They blast the second pass. Giovanni Edi. Wow, a brace for Lebo Opatani. What a way to announce yourself. Pushy Muloy, where's that celebration? Where is it? He says, get the ball and get back. Mind you, they're leading. Ducks to regather themselves now. They need some sort of a reprieve back in this game. Mano in mano, it's Mabaso. Up against Vusi Sibia. And it's the man from Soshanguve who wins it over the man from Nastenberg. That lady, not quite sure how all that happened. Shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, Temba. Hit Bob, Temba. Every time I tell you, stop with your, your noodle. Temba, shoulder to shoulder. Now you see Zipia, he goes in there strong. Jeremiah Nkwana, he's had a disappointing outing. As uh, the Mercurial and uh, much depended on uh, Jeremiah Nkwana. Pings one in, delicious looking pass. And they find one back with uh, less than a minute remaining from that big, big diagonal from Jeremiah Nguana. As I was saying, he's been disappointing. He finds that quality that is renowned for Ducks have a lifeline. Temba, imagine if we did what he's doing a bit earlier on into the game. Nguana, which is move away from the line, get inside of the field, go next to Hotel Meda and connect those crosses. They could have get a chance. Just one cross from his magic left foot. It picked up a striker at the far post, Mabaso, which put it down. It's a TUT who exert revenge on their cross sound rivals. Bushi Muloi gets one up on Kisani Mutao, the man who took the title away from him. What a game has been here at the heart of Hartfield. The heart of Tux ripped apart by Lebohang Patani and his brace. At full time, it's TUT that take the bragging rights in the Tuana Derby.